easy. And uh, I have a rough map here. That's the name from a group, a Google map. And uh, so it shows you Ireland and, and the direction. So essentially, Ireland is this way. But looking at this map, Ireland is kind of that way, facing like that, like that there. And uh, you see the main cities here. And the little put on Kingsford and County Cavan is very, 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 very bad form because we're a very, very important centre over here. Anyway, um, I'm here in a valley which was, I believe, was properly a lake because both ends of it are closed off. And in the, around the time of the Ice Age, um, there were two valleys, and but the water eventually gouged a, a path for the rivers to get through. There's a river over there. That's the Dromilla River, which flows into, which meets the Glide about uh, Capri Castle, the people who know. And over here is the Dromsala River, and it's in the same valley, and it's the same height, which is unusual. And then there's a drain leading from Dromscarry Bog, and there's quite a big flow out of it, and it runs down there. So there's three parallel rivers, and the middle one drains the bog, and that's what makes me think this was all a lake at one time, and the bog is the last remnants, because it's all a scraw there, kind of rough, uh, rushy ground just there, and there's a huge amount of water coming up it and actually eels comes up it. Uh, over here now to my um, to my uh, to my left is uh, this five wind turbines. You'll know about them, I've spoken about them before and um, many people wonder how anyone could put these up or let them near let them near them. I was offered uh, a total of twenty eight thousand to take uh, two of them on my land and I refused it. I wouldn't entertain them at all and I always wonder why people do, but uh, they think they're going to make money, but I've shown that they're a complete loss maker. Now down here, just behind me, if you look here, you might be able to see, uh, there's nothing particular feature of it, but there's a telegram pole there, and just to the left of it is an old house, a two bedroom house, there's still a galvanised roof on it, it's, it's, it's abandoned for 50 years, but there was a man living there, and uh, an old man, and my father and I used to visit him. Uh, for what we call a Cayley, we just go to see him, and um, uh, he, there was a thing called Shanahy Stamps, and you can look at the time of it, it was in the 50s or early 60s, uh, Shanahan's I think they were, you can look it up, I'm not sure, Shanahan Stamps, but they were a gimmick, a Ponzi scheme, and Irish people lost a fortune, and there were a lot of people, you bought stamps and you sold them to somebody else, and then you got a commission and all this, and eventually the whole thing collapsed, I don't know was there anyone charged for my father used to say that they should get a, a medal for ripping off people like that because it was, took a lot of intelligence to do it. But it only made the point about how we're talking about how people can be fooled out of their hard earned money and only made the point, that was the man that lived there, he says, there's an old saying, he says, if you can't catch them or get them or rob them by need, you can catch them or get them or rob them. I can't remember exactly what he said by greed. In other words, if you can't get at them, by need, by their need, you get them by greed. And I always remember it's a very poignant statement, it's relevant even to this day today. The best way to fool people out of the money is um, is to get them by greed. Uh, I don't know what will happen, will people get money? They probably will get money for a while. I've shown this wind farm will lose uh, 100,000 uh, on the first year of operation and Irish wind farms are, are burst all over the place. But that's another issue. What I'm here to show you is on the ice ages is that just here is a rock and the spirit level is the north-south. And if you look here you'll see scrapes. See them here. There they're there. And look at them here on this rock. And they're on they're all over there. Now, I go over here then, there's a little less glare of the sun here, and I've marked these with tippex, showing the direction. And I understand this is to be found in Central Park in New York. And there's no doubt at all that these were created during the last Ice Age. And the funny thing is, if you pull back the ground here, they do go down a bit. They go down maybe about four inches, but they don't go down a lot. The best they go down maybe four inches in the ground. And here they're here, and they're on this rock over here. I just have to be careful here with, with wires. There's, there's them there. I don't know, can you see the scrapes there? But to go back here again, they're here. Now these couldn't be by plower, plowing, because the way this field is, this field runs uh, this way. The hedges are, are, um, are along this way. It's, you wouldn't be ploughing in this direction. You'd be ploughing in that direction or that direction. Do you understand? You, this is diagonal. 
Now the green, the blue rope shows you the direction of the lens, the, the, the cut out of the river valleys here. Now it's different from the, the, the spirit level, is which shows the north-south. So the spirit level is showing roughly the north-south. If not anything, indeed actually, north-south is more that way. Okay, I'd say from looking at the North Star and with a compass is that way. So if we look at this here, we'll see that there's a, there's roughly the direction. And you can see that some of the lines are north-south. That one there is, and that one there is, and there are a few more. Whereas the majority are this way, are running with, with, with the valley. And this would be consistent, in my opinion, and I'm no expert, and I'm, I'm well open to suggestions, on the ice flow flowing along the valleys that were here. But some of it didn't. Some of it flowed north-south. North, and if anything, the ones that go uh, with the valley are more are more pronounced. Here is a, a huge one here. There's a very big one there. There's a big rip. It's unbelievable to think that that there was made over 10,000, maybe maybe 20,000 years ago. And here's my, me rubbing my finger in it. It is unbelievable. And uh, then this one here is a little... There it's there coming on here. There's a bit of moss and here it's coming here. Now I'm running my finger through something which is at least 11,000 years of age there. You can see it there. And there it's coming on there. And there it's there. So there's the evidence of the glacial and the... There's a lot of it there. There's a good lot of it on there. We'll bring it over here if I can get up now and just show it to you more with the sun again so you'll see it with the sun and there they're there scratch marks with the sun and there's a bit of there's a really good one there real 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 good one where it cut it there and then it cut it here and it went on there and here's one here for it it cut it and it must have wore it out there and here's one here going this way so it's going there's actually a v here is one here where it's coming down here and it's joining with this one like a crow's foot it's like a V. So here is one going across. And there's two very interesting ones. There's two Vs there. There's a V. Now there's a bit of colour there. And there's a V. See that there? There's the V. And that's quite unusual. There's two Vs there. Where this cut here and this cut there. And there's grass there. I'll just bring you up. Push the camera a little into it. And hopefully I don't press the wrong button and lose all. So that's it. Just again there. There's the V. There. And there's the V there. And that that is created by the the ice age. Here if I pull away this, you'll see it's everywhere. It's on these. Look at the big one here. Here's a huge one. There. There. There's there. And here's one going the opposite direction as I show you there. So I think that proves it enough. Now you'll find these on most most places, anywhere you have a kind of a, a, a bowl top on a rock, in other words, a bit like the top of a hat or like a cap or a, a, like a plate turned upside down. You won't us usually find them if there's a sudden um, edge. Usually it's where there's a nice smooth thing. And it looks like the glacier came along, hit this, uh, there's, there were stones stuck on the bottom of it and they ripped, ripped this. And the mo it must have been carrying a lot of grit with it and it scratched it. And the strange thing I see is that the the field is a, is as it was. There's no evidence at all that any clay built up or subsided. All the indications are that this is how this was. And there's a bit of a hill here, but I think that it could be that uh, this was the bottom of a lake, maybe. And that would explain why there wasn't much of a build-up of soil. I don't really know. What I can tell you is that there's lots of huge big rocks in this country here, maybe thousands of tons in weight, and the tops of them stick up, and you'll get this on every single one. So I'm going to put this back here. And um, so it seemed to have paused there accidentally. I think, I think I'm still all right there. So um, uh, what, what we then have here is that uh, uh, we have evidence of the last ice age. Uh, from about 28,000 years ago to about 10, 11,000 years ago. And they say that one will return in 50,000 years ago. In 50,000 years hence, uh, from now. And then there's all this talk that we're changing this by CO2 in the atmosphere. So we're not just go, go there today. But in the Roman warm period, which was roughly about 200 before Christ till about 450, or maybe 500 after Christ, uh, they were able to grow grapes in, in England. They were able to actually grow grapes. 
and uh, it was warm and that explains how the Roman soldiers could go around in their scanty uniforms and skirts and things they had on them and sandals and it also explains how St Patrick was able to stay out maybe for 40 days and all this it was warm and it was actually warm at the time of Christ and it got cold then from about 500 AD after Christ but about 800 AD it got warm again and the monks occupied Skellig Michael in uh, in uh, in the southwest of, of County Kerry in Ireland, and they stayed there till 1250. And according to the two tour guides, it was the cold that made them go. And it got progressively cold from 1250 right up to 1850 and uh, 1500 and middle 1500s. It was so cold that they were able to live and, and, and not live but uh, run markets and play on the River Thames for long periods. And indeed, in 17. Uh, 41, uh, there was a famine here, and this was hidden. Probably they couldn't blame the British, but the Healy Rays brought up that one of the I think it was Michael Healy Ray or Danny Healy Ray actually brought up that in the doll that it was totally completely ignored. Now, I just want to tell you this I have locked horns with Greens and uh, climate zealots and all these global warming people, and they always uh, claim that these two warm periods were confined to Ireland and England, Ireland and Britain. Now, you can make what you like of that. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. But the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report does not mention them. So essentially if it mentioned them, you'd have a coldish weather up till about the time before Christ. You'd have a rise in temperature. That would continue till, uh, uh, let's say, 500. You'd have a drop again. It would rise again in 850 and, and drop again in 12. And that would show that the climate changes all the time over hundreds of years, even with over hundreds of years. But they did not include it. They did not include it. And that's fraud, because in doing so, they make it appear that a very tiny rise in temperature now from the medieval, what we call the Little Ice Age of 1500, and we're still getting slightly warmer, that that was unique, that there was never a warming before. And that's a lie. That, that, that is a lie. There is no evidence at all that the two warm periods were confined to Ireland or in Britain at all, because these warm periods are dictated by complex forces, including the orbit of the Earth. And to suggest that they don't, um, uh, that they were confined to Ireland and Britain, uh, is is nonsense. And indeed, I'm after showing you markings on the stone here. And if you go, I believe, in Central Park in New York, I haven't actually seen them, you'll see the very same thing and the two scratches on them. And uh, so that would indicate that the Ice Ages were uh, globe-wide, they were worldwide, and they, they existed in America, and they do accept that they existed right across Canada. And in fact, we still live in an Ice Age. This is an interglacial think they call this. It's still an ice age, it's still cold. A proper warm period has no global, has no polar caps at all. All the ice melts and we still have a lot of polar ice. So uh, it's nobody actually knows will, will it all go or will it not. But what is for sure is that this all happened before and there were no substantial human activities to, to cause it. So I would challenge and I do challenge this whole global warming uh, what they call anthrop anthropogenic, which means man-made global warming, and I say it's not. There is no evidence for it at all. It's merely a, 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 a method to change our society and enslave us and make us pay huge sums of money and hand government over to people who will uh, take away our freedom and destroy us and destroy our future. But that's another day. So I hope maybe that this is interesting. I, I know that it's very difficult to avoid hitting the wrong buttons when you're out here and making a nuisance of making and destroying the whole thing but anyway um that's it and uh, from Dumpscary and if you want to check it it's from Scary Kingsford County Cavan you can get it on Google Google Maps you can search for it and uh, S K E R Y D R U M S K E R Y and uh, I'm at the southern side of that town and, and this rock has been here for me was a, a boy and it will be here I think long after I'm gone. It's just a protrusion up out of the ground and it's scoured and scored with the two ice ages and we can learn from it that the top of the of the fields was not uh, was not moved since the top of the field is exactly as it was at that stage and that that's uh, very very interesting uh, from the point of view of geology and all that of which I'm not an expert so with that now I'll leave you let you go and I hope you enjoyed this and I'd ask you for me trouble just to do me one favor and that's just give me a like a thumbs up if you like it and give me a thumbs down if you don't like it so I'm Val Martin thank you very much I'll see you later see you for another video later on thank you very much